Hey there, Prime Smokers! Stash Warden here, and uh, another one of my weekly videos. I like to do my videos when I have Christine around to help. Uh, Mom's been pretty busy lately, so she, uh, Christine's been my right hand man, or right hand lady. Uh, and my elbow buddy behind me there, Jagger, taking a little nap. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I got more tobacco in. Uh, my tobacco stash or cellar uh, has doubled in the last week, and uh, it just keeps coming. So uh, that's a good thing, I guess, right? Uh, some of it's stuff that I've had that I just want to sell her away for, uh, you know, in future days, and some of the stuff I've never had that I'm just going to try to add into my rotation. So um, this is all from Pipes and Cigars. Uh, I did a big order, as I showed you in my last video, or one of my last videos, and uh, I had about, you know, a good amount of uh, products on back order, and instead of waiting on those, because I'm very impatient, uh, I decided to substitute them out for uh, products that they had available and uh, get them to send them out to me right away. So, to start it off, we have a Cornell, a Cornell and Deal blend called Star of the East. And I heard about this from uh, the Dagners. Um, they said that it was very similar to Penzance, which I really like. Uh, Penzance was given to me by Smoking Pipeliner, and uh, I still have a little bit left. Um, I, I saved that in my Stonehaven for special occasions. And on the subject of Stonehaven, uh, I had a little bit of it on my birthday weekend a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I tried it again for the second time this past weekend, and i got to say that I'm really not too cracked up over it. Um, for all the hype, uh, it's really not my bag, I guess. Uh, with that said, um, I'm thinking about maybe doing a contest where I send the remainder of my Stonehaven to one of you guys that you might like. So uh, I really appreciate it, uh, Dagners. Thank you. Um, but I'm more of a Penzance guy than a Stonehaven guy. So uh, that, that's kind of the story on that. But um, yeah, Penzance can't wait. I hope that that Star of the East is, is similar because that would be killer since Penzance and Stonehaven are non-existent anymore. Um, and then this tobacco here is another super popular one that's been burning up the YouTube. Uh, the three P's, Peterson's three P's, um, plug tobacco. Again, I've heard awesome things about it and can't wait to try that. Now, here's one that I heard about from Beans316. And uh, we had a back and forth email about how to get it. It's Pelican by Butera. And uh, it's really more difficult to find than you would think. Uh, he said it's his favorite, and I know he's been buying every single tin of that stuff he can find. So I got two tins. I'm going to open one, try it, and uh, if I like it as much as he says, then I'm going to have to get some more of it for sure. If not, I'll send it to you, brother. So thanks for the heads up, Mr. Beans316. And uh, finally, here's some 1888 Midday. Villager 1888, uh, again, another real mild smoke I've heard great things about. So, and finally, from the Pipes and Cigars order, is Frosty Mint. Uh, another heads up from the Dagners on a really good mentholated tobacco. I've uh, been dying to find a good mentholated tobacco. I've heard that that one is a little harsh by itself. Uh, it's made by Altidus, I believe. And, uh... I wanted to cut it with something, and um, uh, Jay and Jason had suggested like a chocolate to make like a Girl Scout cookie, like a thin mint or a mint chocolate chip. So I did an order from Boswell's and got their chocolate cream, which I have had and I love. And uh, I will go ahead and mix those two. And if I can get the proportions right where it's not too mentholated, uh, I'll let you guys know what that mixture is, and you can make some of your own, for sure. So, um, also from Boswell's, while I did the order, I might as well order enough to fill up that shipping container, right? So I got some sweet tea, which I have not had, but it smells more, way more like tea than I was expecting. I thought it would be a real fake kind of flavor, um, but it at least smells... Genuine. I haven't smoked it yet, so 
Um, next here is Christmas cookie. Uh, again, smells like fresh baked uh, sugar cookies. So, can't wait to try that. Those are the only two I haven't tried from Boswell. And uh, Countryside here, our go-to. I really like Countryside. One of my favorite uh, more English blends. And Northwoods. Uh, again, a little strong for my taste, but I was hoping that I could get it and have it grow on me. And uh, if not, I'll send that along to one of you guys as well. So, all right, now for the one that's been burning up the airwaves again here on YouTube is the famous Hobbit's Read by Tewksbury and Co. I got the eight ounce bag because I love this stuff. Um, probably my second most favorite aromatic ever. I uh, originally tried it from uh, Sergeant 13 uh, or Metamorphist. Good old Sarge. Um, and yeah, I was served right away. So I got enough to last me a while now. And uh, if you haven't, definitely try to get some. Uh, they have incredible customer service. And it's pretty damn cheap as well. So a really great blend. So, All right. Well, that does it for the uh, second installment of my uh, cellaring uh, extravaganza of getting all the tobaccos for my cellar. And... Uh, I have one more box coming, <laughs> so it isn't over yet, um, and I'll let you guys know about that and obviously show you what else there is, so um, I think that'll do it for today. Uh, as always, guys, remember to plan your work and work your plan.